Hey, I'm Richie923 and I'm on Geek Stacks. Today we're gonna check out Hasbro's Lightning Collection Master Morpher. So just a really quick look at the box art. Um, in the corner here we have a drawing of JDF of the Master Morpher right here in the middle and some additional text on the bottom corner. Let's take a look at the top here. We have all of Tommy's Ranger forms in some order or no order at all. I'm taking a quick look at the back here, showing the display stand and all of the features, different sounds and lights for different coins that come in. So let's uh, take a look at the Master Morpher itself. Um, so for those who don't know, um, the Master Morpher is Tommy Oliver's current morpher that allows him to morph into his previous ranger forms. We've seen it in the 25th anniversary special Dimensions in Danger and also in the Power Rangers Soul of the Dragon Boom Comics. If we go here, take a quick look at featuring the Master Morpher being accessed by an older Tommy Oliver here. I personally haven't read this yet, uh, just wait and find some time to sit down and read this, but looking forward to it. But in the meantime, here is Hasbro's iteration of the Master Morpher. And let's take a quick look here at the features. Uh, we have a display stand with six different power coins here, starting with his dragon coin. And then along the side here, we have his uh, white tiger coin, and then his white falcon coin, red Zeo, red turbo, and black dino thunder, representing all of his previous iterations and here coming with the typical belt buckle that we've been getting with these more recent releases. It's pretty much the exact same mold as the previous Lightning Collection Power Morpher. But here in a nice shiny gold chrome here. Yeah, same system. The coin has a tab feature that uh, holds the coin in place and you just have to swivel it out. But we see the Master Morpher in Dimensions in Danger we see it just like this without the coin. And when Tommy wants to summon any specific power, he just shouts the name and the coin uh, magically appears from the grid. So here we have to do it manually. So right away, the coin is in place. It's locked in. And we get to summon powers of the green Mighty Morphin Ranger. Dragon Sword. Let's see that again. Don't worry, this is a good kind of green. So, spoiler alert, this morpher is filled with voices recorded recently by the late and great Jason David Frank, rest in peace. Uh, he actually was uh, brought in by Hasbro to record lines for this toy. I'm sure this has a whole history tied to it, but I'm not gonna get into that. But uh, just very thankful that we have uh, Jason David Frank representing his legacy. It's pretty much his final form here in this morpher. And rest in peace, Jason David Frank. Awesome, thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at all the different phrases. 2 powers of the ninja with the white falcon coin. Pop this in. Oh, if you didn't notice, the colors change from green to white. I mean, it's kind of tough to see with a green translucent, but essentially the colors change from green to a white kind of light. Right. So anyways, falcon power. Ancient 
powers of the ninjas gonna take you down. White Ranger, Falcon Zord, power up! Let's do it, guys! Ninja Ranger power! Falcon Zord, now! Ancient powers of the ninjas gonna take you down. Alright, cool. So we got some action phrases on top of morph calls. I mean, uh, I already said my, my thing about toys that uh, feature voices. You know, if it's a roleplay toy, I should be the one roleplaying and saying it rather than... But I get the, I get the novelty to it, so it's, it's alright. It's, I'm, I'm cool with it. Okay, so this is the uh, red Zeo coin. One thing to note, uh, this did come in pretty banged up when I got it out the box, but uh, my wife, uh, she's a bit of a painter, and she got some red metallic paint and gave it a go, and you can see here that uh, looks quite improved. Or I know that in the show it's supposed to be like more of a crystal formation rather than just, you know, a painted part of the coin, but uh, it does the job pretty well and way better than how it came out of the box, so thanks, babe. All right, so let's morph. You're in for a surprise. Action call. Time for the original to show you how it's done. Zeo Ranger 5 Red. Time to show you how it's done. Smorphin time. Smorphin time. Crystal powered morpher. Zeo 5 Activate. Zeo Ranger 5 Now. Zeo Ranger 5 Red. So now let's shift in the turbo. Guys, shift to the turbo. Cool. Uh, so he did not morph into red turbo in the Dimensions and Dangers special, but I believe it does appear in the Soul of the Dragon comic. I gotta check it out, but <laughs> nothing's gonna slow me down. Oh, Cause you're turbo. Ready? Let's do it. Shift to the turbo. Red lightning, turbo power now. All right, guys, shift to the turbo. And last but not least, in my personal favorite iteration of Tommy, Dr. Tommy Oliver wields the power of the black Dino Thunder Ranger, the power of the Brachio. Ooh. It's like Tommy throwing in his two cents in Dino Thunder. Cool. All right, let's morph. Cheese ball, Dino Thunder, Black Ranger. Cheese ball, Chief ball, Cheese ball. Brachio power coming in. It's First of all, never call me dude. It's Oliver. Tommy Oliver, PhD. Okay. Dino Thunder, Black Ranger. It's like Sword of the Morph call. It's supposed to be Dino Thunder power up, but whatever. It's all good. Doctor O coming in. Power now. That could be the morph call. Technically, it could be, but all right, cool. All right, knuckleheads, power up! Brachial power coming in. It's a Tommy Oliver, PhD. That was interesting. Okay, cool. Uh, so the nice purple lighting here, and that's a look at the Master Morpher. And one special thing about the stand is it actually features a, uh, a way to store all the coins in here for whatever reason. Uh, but this is pretty cool. It's a nice, uh, nice display. And also a very fitting and touching tribute uh, to JDF. He's a special part of the franchise, if not the face of Power Rangers. And to have this arrive the same time as Cosmic Fury, it's like a bittersweet swan song for Power Rangers, I think. You know, it's cool. And I know for something, for a special release like this, it's going to face some kind of criticism. It has a lot of expectations to be held up to, especially since the original prop for the Master Morpher was an actual um, rebranded Legacy Morpher. This is the new offering from Hasbro, and I feel it holds up pretty well. Uh, overall thoughts, uh, I think it's a great display piece, a uh, great tribute to JDF. But yeah, that'll do it for me. I'm Richie923, and I'm on Geek Status. I'll see you for the next one, and remember, own your passion and may the power protect you. <laughs>